Welcome back to Healthline tonight. It's the conversation of the emergency room. And we are talking about the best of the best here in Glendale. It's Glendale Adventist Medical Center. And before we left, Susanna and I were taking a few deep breaths. Just like oh, that. Let's take another one. Do you want to do ready? One more. Ready? Go. Because <sighs> Dr. Ron Lieberman was talking about uh, the importance of minimizing stress in your life. Okay, easy to say, hard to do. But uh, our next guest uh, joining Dr. Lieberman is Elizabeth Manasarian, and she was leading a very go-go, stressful lifestyle. Uh, she ended up with a burst carotid artery in her neck one night as she was cooking dinner for, for her, her family. family ends up in the hospital, then has a TIA, trans-ischemic attack. It's a mini stroke. Um, and it's a very debilitating Absolutely. situation, but she got some great care because she was there in, uh, in Glendale Adventist. And uh, this was a few years ago. Um, and there has, she's talked about it on the show. Before, and she also had way. a few downtown dashes later. She seemed like everything was great. However, <laughs> right. in this past October, she was, she was at an event and she saw something that was shocking to her and she ended up having her own panic attack and ended up back in rapid response at Glendale Adventist. Right. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank uh, you for having and me. And let me just say this. You look amazing. So whatever Thank you're you. doing... I should come more to your show. You should come more. <laughs> you you <laughs> are, as we talked about, rejuvenated. You look beautiful. Thank you. I did, appreciate Did what happened in October shake you up a little bit to get your health back on? Well, I think I was sh shook up before when that event happened with my carotid artery. But um, what really that taught me is the importance of keeping up with my health and really listening to my body. So did, you that, let, did you let some of it go? Did you think, okay, I'm getting better? And Oh yeah, I think that uh, you know, as time goes on, you start feeling stronger and you know, you start ex I started exercising, I started doing you know, uh, other things and taking care of myself a little bit, but then, then all of a sudden, I realized that I really need to listen to my body, as Dr. Lieberman was saying. We need to know our bodies and know what's going on. So that event kind of, again, it was another wake-up call. So that happened in October. Yeah, so you were at an event. You were in the horrible position of watching a good friend of yours being treated with the paddles for, for a heart, heart attack, attack. For a heart attack, that blessedly yes. did not prove fatal. Right. Uh, but then you had your own uh, high blood pressure and other problems, and... Tell us about what was going on with you and how a friend had to intervene on your behalf. Well, what I was watching as it happened, my friend was making a presentation and he fell on the stage and he was actually treated by the paramedics. And as he was being treated in front of four or 500 people, um, I didn't realize myself, but later on my friend told me, your, your, your demeanor started changing, your, you know, your color on your face started changing, and I started breathing very heavily. And, and uh, so Gosh. when the fire marshal told us to leave the room, we all left the room, but I couldn't stand up, so I had to sit down. And they brought, you know, I came back inside, and as I was sit sitting, my friend told me, you look really bad, you look very awful, your, your face doesn't look well. So I said, that's fine. I, again, resisted the fact <laughs> to go to the emergency. And after like, all that you've I, been through. And there were paramedics all around me. <laughs> after what I had been through, I just said no. And my, my friend, I have to name her Paula Devine, was my friend, as my dear friend who insisted on bringing a paramedic over and testing my condition. And as the guys looked at me, they said, you know, we need to take you in. So luckily I was brought in and I had severe headaches, so I couldn't even open my eyes. So I could really feel that this is something you know that I'm resisting, but I'd really need to go to the emergency and room. And the saying is, when you resist, persist. Okay, more on Elizabeth's story <coughs> and Dr. Ron Lieberman when we come back. Do not go away, and don't forget to breathe. Okay, we'll see you in a <laughs> How do we recognize perfection? How do we attain it? For over a century, we've provided the best health care in Glendale by striving for perfection. And now we've made the biggest upgrade in our history the latest technology, the best physicians, brought together in our new state-of-the-art digital campus. All in our quest for the only perfection that matters, you. Glendale Adventist Medical Center, healthcare at a higher level. Hi, are you a member of Facebook? You know, I am, because I like to know all that my friends and family are doing. Wait, did you know that Healthline has its very own Facebook page? All you gotta do is go to Facebook, type in Healthline, Find us, click like, and become part of the conversation about health, lifestyle, and the community. We post links, health tips, suggestions from you, the community, about 
what you do to lose weight, de-stress, have a happy, healthy lifestyle. Okay, once again, all you gotta do is go to Facebook, type in Healthline, and become part of the conversation. Hold on. Okay, somebody just posted that if you drink an eight ounce glass of warm water with lemon, it starts to invigorate your metabolism. Oh, along with jumping up and down for 60 seconds first thing in the morning. Okay, you know what? I've got to pass this on. Become part of the Healthline conversation. We will see you on Facebook. Thank you for staying with us. We left you with Elizabeth Manassarian sharing with us the importance of her friend getting her to the emergency room and she was brought to Glendale Adventist Medical Center's emergency room. Elizabeth, so you didn't want to listen to Paula yet you came here finally. I did, I did. And the doctors took fantastic care of me. They administered whatever medicine I needed and put me back you know, again, uh, on the streets of Glendale, basically. And looking this good, <laughs> put me on the streets. Uh, so, so was it a panic attack? Um, no, actually, it was uh, blood pressure, and it was I, since I have stents, I cannot have such a, a and vasculitis. Okay. Uh, uh, blood pressure that high is really very dangerous for me, and the importance of it that I need to bring down my blood pressure. And otherwise, it will really cause, you know, maybe irreparable damage or a stroke. Or so that was really bad. I just it really debilitated me, and, and the medication and ER kind of put me back on, on track. Basically. Well, again, welcome back. You look amazing. Thank yeah. You. So like you were on the walkway up mm -hmm. to death's door when when you were there for a second time, and it's an illustration, Dr. Lieberman, of the importance of this timely response. I mean. You have to have this kind of good quality, and you has, it has to be local. You talk yeah. about can't the be importance 40 of minutes that. away right. and be in her condition at that right. time. Well, that's key that we have a community that's set up to be a stroke center and uh, a, a, a cardiac center so that you can get to someone right away and be able to intervene and save them and give them a good quality of life immediately. Mm -hmm. Right, because right. uh, again, time loss is brain loss, especially in case of stroke or anything that's going to be cutting off oxygen to your brain. And as you said earlier, um, three hours. Three hours is the cutoff time. Um, how important, doctor, is it again for people to know the signs and symptoms of everything and to also listen to your friends when your friends say, you know, you're not looking so great. Come with me, trust me, and let's go to the emergency room. Yeah, again, it's key. A lot of times you, you hear the story from a family member saying, I just saw their face was a little droopy. And they didn't even know they were having a stroke. And then they brought them in. They were having a full-blown stroke, and we were able to take care of them. And again, it's because we're a stroke center and a, a heart attack center. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to people in the community, doctor? Bottom line is you, you said that you would rather have people not come to the ER. How do you invite them to get their health on and be stre more stress-free at this well, day and time? I, I think to have regular checkups with their own doctor would be very helpful. Uh, that way they know on a, a consistent basis how they're, they're doing. And of course, if something feels unnatural, not right, come to the hospital. We're there to always check you, make sure everything is fine. Uh, no, no question is a dumb question. Uh, and we're always open 24 hours a day. And Elizabeth, as someone who's been to the ER on, with uh, your own symptoms and also with your mom, who's mm -hmm. got continuing cardiac problems, right. what advice do you have for somebody uh, seeking ER care? Well, I think that um, people who go to ER are already very, very stressed. They don't want to be there. So if you're with a family member, just hold their hand. You know, holding hands. My, when my husband was with me at the ER, just holding hands and the the staff were so friendly and so loving and caring that that really brought down my level of stress because I felt really bad for being there because people really aren't happy despite of sure. what we really like think but they're not scared. yeah they're very scared they feel guilty about being there so just hold someone's you know your family member's hand your friend's hand and just be there and don't talk too much and really listen to the doctors because they're really there to take care of you and doctor I have to put, put in a plug for Dr. Sarah Nevoscania in Maladonian I know she was a fantastic doctor at ER Dr. Lieberman, Dr. Gibbs they're there to help you just to know that they are there and really are very very comforting and they're there to take care of you so back to Glendale Venice yes. the best emergency the room best emergency department room. here in the community yeah. um, final thoughts doctor in regards to people getting their health on we're always here to help you. Fantastic. <laughs> Dr. Ron Lieberman, Elizabeth Manasarian, thank, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for having a shout us. out to some top professionals. And thank you for being with us tonight. And one thing I want to say to you, too, when you go to the emergency room, tell your doctors everything. Information is key. And if you have information, pass it on to your family and friends because information will save your life. 
On behalf of Suzanne Watley and myself, get your health on, and we will see you next time. Thank you for joining us here on Healthline. Good night.